In addition to being able to perform functional testing, it's also ability to perform a level of non-functional testing, and specifically with capturing performance insights into your tests. To do that, let's go ahead and create a new goal, and let's do so on our rocketshop.virtuoso.qa, and let's call this our performance metrics, and let's create and add first journey. Now we're just gonna add a few steps here. So we're not gonna write a particularly long test, but we can just go in and say, here's my steps that we will just say, wait for the rocket shop merchandise. And then we could look for Comet integration. And then let's go ahead and click on add to bag. So that's all we're gonna write here. And then because we've finished the live authoring, let's just click on I'm done to finalize and persist the journey execution. Now here, number one is when we run the test, if we just execute it, we are capturing the basically the runtime, how long it takes each step to execute. If we go to the project activity and then look into our test, we can see that we are capturing for each step the time to run for each of those test steps. And note that if those steps were running particularly slowly, then we do have in the journey side effects uh, that the journey steps took longer to execute than let's say a previous time. So that's capturing the runtime effectively. But in addition, if we come back to our project dashboard and let's go back into our performance metrics test, when you execute the test, you can actually click on the three dots, execute advanced and capture checkpoint snapshots. Now this will feed into visual regression testing, which we're gonna look at in another video. But by doing this, we capture also performance metrics. So we're gonna let the test run and it will run through. And what we will see when it's finished, so currently it's pending, it's executing. And we know that if we go to the project activity, we can see that the test is running. When this has finished running, what we are gonna be able to see are performance metrics. And to see that we can come into the project dashboard, look at the performance metrics uh, test and go into the journey here. And what we can see is that we have captured uh, metrics where, for instance, we've got performance metrics for first time to buy, first input delay, the largest contentful paint and the first contentful paint. And we also have some browser logs with errors, warnings and logs. And in this case, as we hover over, we're seeing the metrics that we're using. So the parameters of good, green or orange uh, uh, need improving or if they're red, bad. So here it could draw my eye to the first content for paint. And we can see that the it's between one and three seconds. So therefore the recommendation is some improvement there. So even though my test has passed functionally, we're getting these performance metrics where these are based solely on the execution. Yet Virtuoso is currently working to incorporate uh, performance metric analytics. So the comparisons between um, the different executions, but at this stage you are getting these insights for non-functional indicators such as performance metrics on your tests.